Right, with us we have Mohammed Osip, former Brave Warriors defender, also of course uh, Kaiser Chiefs great. Mohammed, you're now on the coaching staff of the Brave Warriors, assistant to Ricardo here. Just tell us how, how that came about and how do you feel about this? Um, first of all, I would like to say thanks to Ricardo and, and the association for um, having that confidence in me to bring me in as the second assistant. Um, we have been coming along since I uh, finished my C license, CAF C license. Um, Ricardo brought me in uh, for the under 20 as an assistant, but unfortunately that match didn't um, uh, materialize. So from there on we kept uh, we kept in chat till he gave me a call a few weeks back to say, you know, um, he needs to beef up his uh, technical stuff and he w would love to have people you know like that uh, have been around with him that they have the same vision so that's that's how I actually came into the picture fantastic and how is it to be back with your old teammate Ricardo and Ronnie no it's uh, very interesting <laughs> it feels like uh, because the the time I came in in the national uh, national setup uh, as a player they were already, you know, established uh, national players, and it feels like, you know, those days when, you know, like my first call up, and very a lot of hard work uh, needed, and very interesting. Um, I have been with them for past three days, and and the the the, the you know the cooperation we have the assistance they give me, the information they give me, you know, their plans, I think we're gonna, we have a long way to go. Right, and of course Saturday, very important match against Congo, how are you feeling about that one? I think um, I am happy that, you know, the first match is at home. Uh, I think it also makes my stay a bit li little conf comfortable. And uh, because, you know, I'm home, everything is normal to me. Uh, only thing is like um, hard work. Uh, try to prepare the team uh, for, the, for, the, for, the, for the unknown uh, squad we're going to face. Um, so I think it's, um, it's just a matter of, you know, come Saturday, uh, we just have to, you know, deliver, as, as the coach also mentioned. We are very. We're gonna go very offensive. Um, that's that's our aim. That's our objective to try and get goals because uh, second, second, second leg of the of this uh, uh, qual uh, qualifiers will be a bit uh, definitely gonna be a bit uh, tough for us uh, because we have been there as players and we know what to expect. So, but we are we are we are ready for them. We we'll, we're gonna give them, you know. What uh, what they did or don't or did don't expect or what they probably de uh, didn't plan for. Right, and uh, Mohammed, maybe looking back, you're of course a big hero in South Africa for Kaiser Chiefs when you played. Of the current Brave Warriors squad, do you think the talent is there to follow in your footsteps as well? Yeah, the talent is there. Uh, working with the players uh, and seeing them every day at training. Uh, uh, in the in the you know of the of, of training one can see and sense that it is there it's just that they need to you know try to uh, strong up they need to know uh, the big picture they need to know what they want to achieve in in, in, in life as, as, as footballers and where they want to go with it because uh, it's it's uh, and, and one disappointing or one concern is you know the the club teams. We need we need uh, cooperation from the top uh, club teams to 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 bring these uh, these boys up uh, in the right manner to 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 excel you know wherever they go, or even if they are playing locally. At least we need to see the difference. Though this is a national team uh, player uh, and whatever he does on the field of play must be exceptional. So there is talent. It's just uh, uh, how we polish uh, polish them to prepare them for for the for the for the the worst that's still gonna come for them. <laughs>